die grinders, rotary tools, corded rotary tools, cable driven rotary tools, they all have something in common. Even routers, they have collets. What are collets? Well, we're going to talk about them. So this video actually started from a question we got asked or a statement that one of our awesome viewers brought up and that was they wanted to sharpen some chainsaw blades and so they bought some carbide bits off of, I think it was a, a steel uh, carbide bit, but they wanted to use a rotary tool to do it or a die grinder and specifically, I believe it was this 90 degree die grinder that he bought from Milwaukee or bought from Home Depot or Acme Tools or somewhere and he wanted to use the carbide tools or the carbide bur bur bits in this tool. However, there was one big, huge problem that really wasn't a problem if he just knew. And to be honest, Milwaukee hasn't done a great job educating that this is a simple problem to fix. And that was, this is a quarter inch die grinder. In other words, quarter inch accessories fit in here. And the carbide bur bit was a eighth inch tool accessory. And you see that doesn't work out too well. No matter how tight you get that, it's not going to work. So with that, let's dive in and take a closer look at different collets, how they work, and how you can address that exact situation. Okay, let's have a little collet talk. And what is a collet? Well, a collet is one of these things right here. And basically, it's just a, an insert that goes on the inside of a some type of rotary tool or what we would call a die grinder. Uh, which is pretty much everything we have here. But there's one thing it's important to these. Actually, there's a couple of things that's very important about these. Uh, number one, what size collet are you running? So this is an eighth inch collet, meaning that uh, things with an eighth inch shaft will fit in there. And then basically when you have the outside collar on, it squeezes that collet and keeps that tool secure. Now a quarter inch collet, which would be in most of these other than this one. This is an eighth inch tool, so it will only fit eighth inch collets. Other tools Let's take this die grinder apart here and you can see here's a quarter inch collet and this is going to fit quarter inch tools. So like this tool here, you can see the quarter inch is going to fit in there. And what's going to happen is as this collet, as this collar on the collet, comes down and squeezes on that accessory, it's going to lock that into place. And obviously the cone, the cone right here on this plays a big role and going on the insert there and squeezing down. Now, why am I going through all this? Well, because I'm fixing to show you something. And then once that squeezes down, it locks that into place. Now that's just a regular collet. And if I loosen that, I can bump that and then pull that out. It'll easily kind of give it up and I can pull that out. Now, and again, I'm gonna get to where we're going here in just a moment. These Milwaukee tools, as well as you'll see this in lots of routers, uh, and some of the die grinders, but most of your air die grinders, your typical stuff around automotive, body shops, things like that, is like I just showed. Very simple collet. Once you loosen the nut, you can uh, sometimes, if it's stuck, just kind of bang the tool or the accessory and it'll loosen up. However, Milwaukee uses what they call a safety collet. And so, which by the way, you see my wrenches here? So these two wrenches, uh, doing these one-handed are a pain sometimes, so I took this and I actually bent it, and when I bent it, it broke, so that's why I re-welded it. But you see I've got a 90 bend on it, and I can put it on here and hold it with one hand while with the other hand break this free. So now, so I've broken this nut free, and this tool is inside here. I cannot move that tool. Now I could put that in the vise and try to pull it out. It's not going to give that up. I could bang it and ruin that carbide tip, or if it was another type of tool, I could bang it, and it's not gonna loosen that. And you see that nut is free right there. The shaft is not turning, but the nut is free, and it will not let go of that accessory, of that burr bit, of that carbide tip, because it's a safety collet. And again, you see how loose it is. I can turn it with my finger, no problem at all, okay? So what you have is you break it free the first time, and then you 
give it a couple of turns and it's going to get hard again. And so you have to break it free a second time. People argue with me on this all the time and I'm telling you it's the case and watch this. So now I break it free a second time and now look at this. Now the accessory is relieved and it'll pull out of there. So that's the difference in a lot of the newer uh, battery powered or cordless die grinders is they're using safety collets, which again have been used in routers for quite some time. But most of the people that use air die grinders do not see this and they get frustrated and sometimes even ruin the tool trying to get it out. So with a safety collet, loosen it twice. You loosen it, back it off a few turns, it'll get hard again, loosen it again, and that's when it actually releases the tool. Now let me pop this out of here. And where are we going with this? Well, initially, basically one of our viewers came and said, hey, I bought one of the Milwaukee rotary tools and I believe he was wanting to sharpen chainsaw blades. Well, the chainsaw burr bits, if you will, came in an eighth inch shank. So much like you see here, this one's a stone, but we get it. Well, that eighth inch is not gonna fit in that quarter inch. Well, basically he thought that, well, I need to get a different tool. So he bought the smaller M12 eighth inch rotary tool, but he really wanted one of these tools here. And I said, well, you really didn't have to do that. You could have bought this right here. And this is a collet from Milwaukee for eighth inch shanks. So you can see, I can put it on here. So what I can do, I can take this eighth inch collet, screw it in there, take one of my eighth inch shank tools or accessories and put it in there and clamp that down and now I can run any of my eighth inch accessories. Now you can also get, I'll, I'll throw a, uh, a picture of one up there. You can buy them all over Amazon or anywhere else. Basically it's something that basically slides onto the shaft of this and uh, basically offers it a quarter inch shank. So it will go in there and, and actually go into your, um, into your quarter inch collets and lock into place. I don't like using those, that's like an adapter. Um, I like having an actual eighth inch collet or a quarter inch collet, and it's going to do a better job at making sure everything's centered and balanced and everything else. And in this case, it's made for this tool versus something just being on the shank. Now, I also wanted to show, you see that the, the design of this collet versus this one here that goes in that air grinder, much different. You can see the cone, the degree on the cone, much different. So don't go and try to use another or your typical air die grinder in one of the Milwaukee or one of the cordless uh, die grinders because it will not work and it will bind up. And you see also right here on a close up, you can see that there's no step or basically there's a step down and no ring that locks this collet into the, and I'll just show you here. So this collet doesn't lock into that collar. You can push it up there and it just falls out. And that's the beauty of this, is this actually kind of snaps into place into the collar. You can see it, it, it kind of wobbles all around until I press it in and then it pops in and locks in. And that's part of that collet, locking collet system is when you back that off that second time, it's actually pulling that off the shank and unlocking that from the cone and from the actual shank of the accessory. So this will run you, I believe it's about 20 bucks. We'll have a, a link in the description. Um, the other adapters I think you can get for you know, probably 10 bucks and get a few of them. So you can go that route as well, but you can definitely run eighth inch accessories in your typical quarter inch die grinder. But again, you're changing out the collet and I would recommend if you buy one of these tools, go ahead and buy your eighth inch with it and then you've got it ready and available. So if you do have a you know, specific uh, eighth inch tool that you're wanting to use, you can easily swap those out. And also, highly recommend you doing this. This is so handy to have so that I can just hold this tool and it'll work on my straight die grinder. It'll also work here on the 90 degree die grinder as well. I can tighten it there or I can flip it over and I can lay it right there against the tool and then with one hand easily be able to loosen those collets. And again, there you go. 
So even though it's, it's loosened the first time, it's not going to give that up. But yet, yeah, break that free a second time. And there you go. No problem. All right, well, I hope that we have filled you in on safety collets, on regular collets, and a couple of hacks that we've done that I'm telling you, this wrench idea, I think we posted it three or four times on Instagram, and it's always a huge hit. Such a simple idea, rather than two straight wrenches when you're trying to you know, hold the tool and, and work both of those, the, the nut and the shaft at the same time. Now you can easily just take that, put that alongside the tool, hold it with one hand, break it free, tighten it up. So that is a great idea right there of either bending or it may break on you and so you may need to weld it. But if you get one of the, the cheap wrenches, they will bend. Um, and then also understanding how to use a safety collet. I'm telling you, I made a video on this uh, probably, I don't know, like two years ago. And we've had multiple people comment on that where they say, oh, we put it in a, in a vise and banged it with a hammer and everything else trying to get the bits loose because they didn't know that you actually have to loosen it twice. I know that's not really loosening it twice, but there's two hard spots, break those free, and then these bits just slide right out. Hey, let us know if you have any other ideas you'd like for us to tackle. Also, let us know if you like this video or not, because if you hated it, well, then give us a thumbs down, but be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. Have a great day. Keep smiling.